Patricia Corey, you are the author of a number of books about uh, the revelations that are coming from the Syrian High Council. And uh, the first question that we all have is how you did become this uh, channel that you are for these revelations. Can you explain us a little bit? This is a question often asked to me, and it's hard to pinpoint when it really started, because as a child I was already a medium, and I used to see little beings that would sit on the leaves and uh, talk to me, and my mother said I used to call them the little blue people, and at the time I think that this was already messengers from another dimension speaking to a child in a way that a child would not be afraid. But uh, my mama uh, used to tell me stories about this. She said that when I was four years old, I burst into the kitchen and said, Mom, did you know that I'm from a parallel reality? <laughs> and of course, at that time, because we speak of many years ago, uh, children weren't accessing this kind of information. So she found it very, not disturbing, but definitely unusual that I was talking about this and Atlantis and all kinds of things that are surfacing now. But uh, growing up being a psychic, let's say a psychic healer, I've been in many aspects of uh, spiritual work. It was uh, years ago, I was in a crop circle. I was called from a dream to see this image of this crop circle called the Julius set, quite fa famous. And I went there and I lost consciousness for two hours. Two hours that I was whizzing around in space and when I came back, I was in such an altered state that I was walking out of the crop circle and I saw spheres of light. I saw men in black. I saw uh, plasma forms. It was outrageous. I was completely open as a psychic to see interdimensional reality. And um, two weeks after that, I started getting these channeled messages. And I just would like to tell your readers that uh, I was not open to this because I didn't like mediumship at the time. And I didn't want to serve in this capacity. I, I thought, oh, this is not the way I want to use my psychic abilities. But it kept coming and coming and coming. And, and finally, I, I just said, okay, I'm here to serve, knowing that it was the highest vibration, uh, because sometimes people channel things that are not. And the rest is history, many books later. I'm still working with these beings. Are the contacts uh, happening every day or in special occasions? And how do they manifest? Do you think? Do you feel some uh, some voice or a special state and this kind of information? We are curious about it. Uh, up until yes, it is a very curious phenomenon. Usually, I am awakened at four in the morning because they explain that this is what they call the violet hour of Gaia. And it is at the time when there's the least amount of electromagnetic radiation interfering with the channel. And uh, I awaken, I come to the computer room. I, uh, I really have to prepare myself because it's a very intense process for me. I don't just sit and start channeling. I uh, meditate, I prepare my body, I drink about a quart of water, uh, a liter of water. And then as I prepare myself to release myself from noise and external thoughts, it starts to come in. And uh, sometimes it's voices. Sometimes they show me pictures that I am asked to understand because otherwise we can't make the connection. So I've seen some pretty galactic images in my time with them. And occasionally they pop in when I'm in the middle of a sacred journey or when I'm in the crop circles, various moments. But predominantly, it is still a process of sitting down to work with them at four in the morning, which is taxing on my life. But I love it. But uh, it, it, they do give me time off. Now, let's say they're 10 books later, I do get time to rest. Like now, I'm working on a a documentary film for the whales and dolphins. And uh, what about Star Seeds, this book that Amrita is publishing in these days? 
um, what is the genesis of this book and uh, especially can you can you just present it to the readers in order for them to have an idea of what it is inside so they might be encouraged to go and read the rest well, um, yes, that's a great question. Starseed Dialogues is born from constant questions from my readers who yearn to speak to the Syrian Council directly, uh, who asked me some very profound questions. And uh, I asked if it would be appropriate for them to answer these questions. So the questions arise from the three prior books, which are all out in Italian. And um, delve into some of the information in the books and some questions that are much outside of the realm of the material presented. The, uh, the readers were invited to write in. Some of the questions were direct in my workshops and seminars. So some of it is a compilation of uh, questions that were mailed in. Some people asked directly working with me in sacred sites and workshops, etc. And what has come forward is uh, a whole new realm of information besides complementing the information that's already available, new information uh, that is relevant to the people who wanted to know those, those answers. Okay, so the point is, if the new readers that you are going to contact with Amrita needs to or want to contact you and ask questions to the uh, High Council of Sirius. How can they do it? Maybe you have something to announce. I am inviting readers uh, from Italy to send in their questions to my new blog, which is indicated uh, below on the screen. And from time to time, these questions will be collected. And we shall see. Perhaps it will be a, another book of questions and answers. Perhaps there will be uh, occasional times when I post answers to these questions on the blog. So by all means, keep in touch uh, through the blog that you see indicated below.